Welcome to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at your waist, turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. One, two. Other way. One, two. Okay, good. Expand your chest, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. One, leave the arms closer to your head. Turn at the hips and waist to peek at the heel of your opposite heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Be careful. Shift your weight to the left foot. Good Tai Chi posture. Kick your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, Two, three, four, five. 
Shift your weight, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Turn your knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up your span, parallel feet, choose the right side, cross and sit on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift weight, cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Good golden cock crawl, good Tai Chi posture. Dropping those shoulders, centering yourself, making your weight evenly distributed, tucking that butt, hollowing out the chest, chin slightly down, tongue on your palate, head straight up, good thoughts. Here we go. Shift weight, spiral, rotate on your axle, golden cock crawl. Push down, push up. So there's some softness, some purpose in all that you do, getting your counterbalance, getting your core. Working for you, last one. Kicking out. Gather the energy, center the energy, right hand, right foot coming up, kick out and follow. Tuck the elbows. Remember that the kick is on a diagonal, not straight in front of you. Last set. Holding your ball, root down, store that energy. T stance, L stance, bow the legs, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot, root down, T stance, center with the ball, out into the side, L stance. Knees not beyond your toes, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot, center with the ball and a T. Out into the side, L, part the wild horse's mane. Use your hips and waist to get to the forward position. Sit back, twist step, T stance, L stance. Turn the hips and waist, hands go for the ride. Sit back, sit down, listen carefully, brush your knee. How do you do that? All together, ear, hand, heel, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot, left hand higher, parallel and higher. All together, ear, hand, heel, turn the hips and waist, hands go for the ride. Sit back, sit down, pivot, right hand higher, all together. Set it up correctly, multitask to brush your knee. Listen carefully, sit back, sit down, hold your ball on a T stance. You're going to ward off your opponent, forearm him, turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Turn at the hips and waist to look back, turn again to push out, separate and roll back and sit down, spiral up, lunge forward, other side, twist step, T stance. L stance, ward off. Turn your hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Look back, turn again and push. Separate and roll back and sit down. 
spiral up, lunge forward, twist step, T stance, L stance, bow stance. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Push the energy through, separate and roll back and sit down. Spiral up, lunge forward. Twist step, listen carefully. You're gonna part the wild horse's mane. Out and to the side. Here it is. Cloud hands in the 10 form. Sit back, sit down. Pivot 12 o'clock. Pivot out 9 o'clock. Two things happen. Two things happen at 3 o'clock. One thing happens at 9. Two things happen at 3. Two things happen at 9. One thing happens at three, shift your weight to the left, up, golden cockerel. Shift weight to the right, up, golden cockerel. Down, shift weight to the left, right hand, right foot up, and out. Left hand, left foot, up, and out. Holding your ball on a T stance, we're going to ward off our opponent. Turn the hips and waist to grasp the bird's tail. Contact, push from the center. Roll back and sit down. Spiral up and forward. Twist, T, L, bow. Grasp the bird's tail. Spiral up and forward. Apparently close, twist, open twist, in twist. Tuck that right hand to embrace, shift your weight over, rotate on your wrists, bring them closer, push them away one last time, separate the energy, tuck the elbows, let gravity bring you back home. Okay, coming forward on a Tai Chi walk, go a little bit slightly back. <coughs> Gonna go into our 16 now, okay? Twist out, walk in that direction, shift your weight, heel out, turn the hips and waist, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, walk in that zigzag, heel, turn the hips and waist, bow stance. You're getting ready to hold our ball, sit back, sit down, pivot, right hand higher, uh, above, out and to the side, Part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, center with the ball on a zigzag, heel out, part the wild horse's mane, final. Half step forward, hold your ball, spin the ball to the right as you advance the left hand as you watch it, lift up the front foot, put it on its toes, White crane spreads its wings. Drop your front foot, tuck the elbow in as you bisect your body. Look back, swirl back, left hand higher, right hand to your shoulder. Lift up the front foot, put it on its heel, multitask to brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, set it up correctly, all together multi the magic of brush knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot as if you're doing a brush knee, but fist the right hand, left hand comes down, deflect to the right, bring that fist back as you parry, advance forward as you punch. Strip the guy off of your arm, roll back and push him down. Spiral up and push him out. Pivot on the back foot, pivot on the front foot. Shift the weight, hook the hand, T stance. Left hand across the face, out on an L, single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, play your lute, 
on your heel. Center the front hand. Look at the right hand that's higher. Repulse of the monkey. Ear, toe, heel. Pivot on the ball of your foot as you meet in the center. Slide backwards, slide, push forward. Lead with your toe. Look at the left. Here we go. Ear, toe, heel. Pivot on the ball of your foot as you meet in the center as you repulse. Last final. Pivot the front foot. Parawet the back foot. That means the weight is still on the back foot and you're on the toe of the right. You're going to spin and put out your heel and turn your ball, your hands in the right position. Right heel comes out, the ball is formed out on the left as an L and maiden shuttles on her left. Okay, we're just going to finish it all up and then we'll work on it. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold your ball out with your right heel and maiden works on her left. Okay, finishing it up, almost done. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, needle to the bottom of the C. One hand comes up, two hands come up, then your foot, start in the middle, slash your arms like a fan. Okay, so you can turn around and look at me. Then you're going into cloud hands. One. Two. You're going to do a quick step on a T stance to hold your ball, and then you're going to ward off what you all know, and you're almost done with everything, okay? So just wanted to give you the movements towards the end. Like others, the movements towards the end are kind of complicated, okay? There's never an ideal location in which you can stand to get it all. So sometimes you have to move yourself from the spot that you like and you have to take a side peek at what everything amounts to, okay? Same way, bring the tiger in, push him out, separate the energy, drop the shoulders, tuck the elbows, flex the knees, you can feel gravity pulling you down as you now close your form. Okay, so I didn't purposely um, take my sweet old time, but what I did do is, I guess I could say it was for a purpose because I was feeling the sensations of gravity pulling me down, of shifting weight. So that's why Tai Chi becomes powerful because you are in tune, your body is in tune, your mind is in tune with what the movements um, create or develop or conjure up as you, as you work it through. It's not just done so that you can watch me forever, but it's the performer who's feeling this and making it more powerful so the more powerful a, a performer can, can do or dance or, or show something, it's related. It can get the audience or the people viewing into that mode also. This is the power of Tai Chi. Okay, go back and we'll try to work on things, okay? So I remember, uh, I think it was last week that we did a lot of uh, drilling on um, I think single whip. And then I was there kind of fixing feet up. And you know, that's really difficult because you're already in a stance and then here I am trying to move you and of course you're gonna lose balance. So I, I wanna apologize for those people that I you know, touched and maybe um, didn't do it in the proper way. But in Yang 16, there are many times or a few times when we have to do some kind of maneuvering with our weight to make that uh, pivoting happen. So we can all go back and understand that two weighted feet cannot work. There's gonna be some stumbling. So we know the 
the easiest way is to keep a weightless foot that can advance. But sometimes we have more weight than we need on that, on that insubstantial foot, but we have to give it up and give it up by uh, putting, putting it on the other foot. But still, it cannot be totally weightless. But that's the, I want to say, the beauty or that's the challenge that we're going to have to have to try to um, keep that weightless foot as empty as possible to, to help us work, OK? So yeah, it's saying, you're saying, well, you know, I don't know if I can tackle that. But this is why you're in class, because Tai Chi will teach you how to do it, OK? Or I'll try to help you anyway. All right. So let's do it this way, and then we'll stop at where I feel the lesson should be, OK? So we're going to do Yang 16 going to the left, all right? And we'll, in the process, we'll review all the previous uh, movements. Okay, dropping the shoulder, good Tai Chi posture, 50-50, accumulate on the right, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, open, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, rotate, deep breath as you elevate, using the core, because the water is hard to pull up, at shoulder level, reverse by flexing your knee, dropping your shoulder. Forming your ball on a T-stance without raising your shoulder. Nice ball, nice energy stored on the back. Part the wild horse's mane two times. Out and to the side, bottom hand advances to go up the horse's mane. One, hip square to the outward foot. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, shift your weight, center with the ball, out with your L, Turn the hips and waist, part the wild horse's mane two. Half step forward, hold your ball. You're gonna to spin towards the right as you sit back on your back foot and advance the left hand to go up as you glance. Lift the front foot off the ground and put it on its toe and set as white crane spreads its wings. Okay, you're on the toe of the front, that's your weightless. Left has your weight. You have your parameters where the baby finger should be slicing across the edge of your right shoulder. You're going to drop the front foot as you tuck the elbow closer to you. Bisect your body to the Danten. Swirl back, look back at the left hand that's higher. So this is setting it up correctly for brush knee, right? You're going to do three things. Ear, hand, heel. Turn the hips and waist. Brush knee one. Sit back, sit down. Pivot out. Right hand higher, left hand to your shoulder. Ear, heel, hand. Turn the hips and waist. Brush knee two and final. Sit back, sit down. Pivot out. As if you're going to do a third brush knee, the left hand comes up, the right hand is fisted, it comes up while the other goes down. Put your right heel out, you're going to deflect towards the right. Bring the elbow out and then advance, parry, and then punch. Okay, we'll go over that. Touch, roll back, sit down, push the guy down. Bring him up and out. Last week, we talked about pivoting on our two feet, OK? Two heels. The back heel is your right heel, right? So you're going to pivot on the back heel. And your, your hand took you there, right, because it, it connected to your body. Then you're going to pivot on your left heel or front heel. You're going to hook the hand as you form a T stance. And left hand is like right at your face. T stance, and next is an L stance, right? So you're going to come out on an L. The hand follows because the upper body follows. And you're going to push out, and this is called single whip. Take a half step forward. You're going to sit. Oh, wait, what are we doing? Half step forward. 
Swirl the front, the right hand, rock the front foot, play your lute. Okay, so we'll, we'll work on those coming forward, okay? So um, what makes it also difficult is that there's not a time, when, a, a good time when I can just stop because we are always in motion. So the, my best advice to you is to um, get the general feel of it, get something, and then later on we can shore it up with the details. We can refine it a little bit more, okay? All right. So let's see, where do we start? Um, Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, let's take it from the beginning. Turn towards the clock. Good Tai Chi posture. You're going to come forward eventually, so watch your spacing. Commencing form, shift weight to the right, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, off the ground. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hands rotate. Take a deep breath in as we elevate. Shoulder level, reverse the process, push the water down, flex your knees, hold your ball on the T stance, out into an L, bottom head advances to part the wild horse's main one. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, hold your ball, heel out, turn the hips and waist, part the wild horse's main two. Half step forward, hold your ball, Spin the ball to the right. Watch the advancing left hand on the toe of the front. Lift it off the ground. White crane spreads its wings. Drop your front foot, tuck the elbow in. Bisect your body. Look back and swirl back. Look at the left hand that's higher. Set it up correctly. Multitask and brush your knee. Sit back, sit down. Pivot out, parallel higher. Ear, heel, hand, turn the hips and waist, brush knee, two and final, okay? Watch carefully and try to follow. Sit back, sit down. I'll take it slow, but slow is harder. As if you're going to brush knee, but you're gonna fist the right hand. The left hand is higher. You're gonna shift your weight, change the position of the hands, deflect to the right, bring it in, Parry will help you to then advance to punch. Strip the guy off of you. Roll back, sit down. Push him down, push him up, push him out. Okay? Remember what we're gonna do now. You're not gonna see me, so no use doing it, right? So we're gonna change the position. Left foot advancing, right foot 45 degree towards the field. What are we doing now? Um, pivot the back heel. Pivot the front heel. Makes your body twist. Hook the back hand. T-step it. Right? And the right hand is by your, by your face. You're going to take an L stance and you're going to push the palm out. This is single whip. Okay, let's try it again. Keep your feet positions, push out. What are we going to do? We're going to get into a single whip, but we have to pivot on the back foot first. We have to pivot on our right foot, uh, left, left foot, sorry, front foot. Hook, shift the weight T, and after a T, you're going to make an L, right? So you're going to take an L, the body follows, and you're in a single whip. Okay, one more time, making it smoother. We've just done a push out. We want to pivot on our back foot. We want to pivot on our front foot. We want to shift a weight, hook a hand, T-step. Left hand by your face, L stance, turn the, turn the palm out, single whip, okay? Okay, now we're going to take single whip, left foot forward, coming <coughs> forward. Left foot forward, right foot 45 degrees, left hand forward, hook hand like your right foot. 
Okay, single whip. Half step forward means to do this. Okay, this means to do that. Half step is that. Okay, half step is that. But the hand in the back, the right hand, has to do this. Let's see, does it have to do this? So what does it have to do? Swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, set it on its toes. Okay, watch and see what you can pick up. Single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, shift the weight to the back on the toe, set it up correctly. Play your lute. Okay, single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand. Rock the front foot because you want to put the weight on the heel. Play your lute so you're weighted on the back to repulse the monkey. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it several times. This is single whip. We're going to take a half step forward and we're going to do something with this hand, right? This is the hand that's doing something, okay? Single whip, half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, play your lute on your heel. Okay, getting better. 45 in the back, single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, wait on the back, play your lute. I'll show you how to play the lute in a little while, okay? Single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, play the lute on your heel. When you play your lute on your heel, okay, when you play your lute on your heel, this is the weightless foot. This is the weight, this is the back foot that has your weight. The left hand, like the left foot, is forward and higher. The right hand, like the right foot, is shorter and it's not parallel like this, but it's slightly dipped in and the weight is on the back. So this is how this is how how I am, okay? This is how I am. And the weight is on the back. If I'm up like this, my weight is not on the back. So I have to drop down because the next one is then going to be repulsing of the monkey. The weight is already there, established and waiting for you to do repulsing of the monkey. So get the feeling that the left, left foot is on a line, the right foot is on a 45 degree, the weight is going to be on the back. So if the weight is on the back, the uh, front foot has to be on its heel, right? This is 50-50, weight on the back, okay? Now, weight on the back, any old way with your hand. Come forward, come back. Come forward, come back. One more time. This time, emphasize the come back. Okay, now, this is what you did so far, you said, the left foot is advancing, the right foot is 45, and we want to establish weight on the back. When we establish weight on the back, we want to establish this. We want to establish 50-50 or 60-40 or whatever, but two weighted feet. We want to roll back. This is the only way that I could lift my foot up, right? The weightless foot. So we want to practice coming we want to keep ourselves erect, right here, good Danton points, and we want to move and sit back. We want to establish a weightless foot. Then, then we say you do a drill. We forget about how the lute is supposed to be played or how the hand motions should be. We just move it forward, we come back this way. We move it forward, we come back this way. Then we eventually say, to play the lute correctly, we need to play it this way. We need to play it this way. So what are we trying to say? We're trying to say in our minds and in our vision that to play the lute, the left hand takes the formation of the left foot 
and the right hand takes the formation of the right back foot so that the left hand is sort of identical in that it is the forward higher hand, whereas the right hand is the shorter lower hand. Okay? So you can look at it that way. So let's, let's, let's see if we can um, do what I just reviewed, okay? 45 in the back, left on the, on the line straight away, and we're in good Tai Chi posture. We want to, right now we're say 50-50. Sometimes it's 60-40, but it's like 50-50. We don't want to stay in that position. We want the weight to go in the back. So how are we gonna do that? First front, then roll back and sit down. It's a little bit awkward because we don't have our upper body, but we want to train our lower body that this is what we're going to do. So what am I doing? Weighted, just like you. We want to put all the weight in the back and sit down. What do we want to do? We want to establish a weightless front foot. So when you do this in practice, you need to feel totally grounded on the back. If you do not tip that front foot on its heel, you still have not drained all that weight. Okay, so we say we get it. So now we say, but there's something missing. Our upper body is not helping our lower body. Okay, then we train our upper body. So we're in the stance, we're still weighted, too much weight. Just go use your practice warming up this way, okay? Up and down. Up and down. So you want that sensation to go back and sit down. Do you get it? Do you feel that groundedness? You also feel that you can Exhale, you can inhale and exhale, okay? So now we've gotten our lower body to match our upper body, and now we have to play our lute. We said that the left foot has to be higher, or the left hand, like the left foot, has to be longer and forward whereas the right hand has to be shorter and the hand has to dip towards the, towards the elbow. Yeah, towards the elbow rather than straight like this. So towards the elbow. Okay, so that's not too hard. So we make sure that we're like this and we come back and sit down. We come forward and sit down. Drop down, then set it up correctly. One more time, set it up correctly. To allow us then to get into what? Repulsing of the monkey. If the weight is on the back and we know that we have to lift and we have to center ourselves, we can do many things. Lift, ear, you don't have to do it, ear, lift, toe, spin on the axle, pivot in the middle to meet in the middle, and then draw back. Center, lead with the toe of the front foot, set it up. I'm a little bit too wide or long. Multi. Spin on that axle, straighten out. Okay? So it's kind of fancy. Yeah, kind of fancy and <coughs> If you can teach your body how to do that, I think you know, you, you, your body and you will be very, very happy. And people will say, wow, you can do that? Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, I, I have a, a, I'm not sure, I may have spoken last week about using your legs and arms together with the rest of your body. And the movements, although we, we say the arms and legs sort of go for the ride, they do in some instances, but in some instances, they don't necessarily
drive the movement, but they give you some hint as to what the next movement is going to be or which direction are we going to be. So if you, are, if you don't have the proper timing, what happens is you lose the advantage of what does the hand do and the arms do to tell you where to go, number one. Number two, do you, how can you maintain balance while you're moving your arms and legs? Remember, Tai Chi, when we do it in the form, is trying to get from one movement, which is very stable, to yet another movement. And part of the deal is, as we go from one movement, we try to stay in a stable position as we prepare ourselves to move, okay? For instance, if, if we're out here, we're gonna do repulse the monkey, okay? If I come here and then I start to do this, I've sort of shot my wad in terms of, I've tipped my body here a little bit, but then I gotta wait and I gotta do this. Versus if I'm here and I go up, what am I doing? I go up, I don't have to go anywhere. But the minute I say balance, I'm gonna imbalance, but if I just went out by myself and I don't put this leg out, I'm gonna fall on my nose, okay? So you're here. Balance, everything shoots up. And what's that take advantage of? The hands and the legs keep you in balance, but then what's the next maneuver? How do we move? Tai Chi posture and spin, rotation, okay, here. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to go stay stable, spin, Tai Chi posture. So you use both things. So, and even something like uh, uh, the, the crane, okay? We're, uh, in this case, it comes this way. Half step, and then as I come up, I don't come up here and then stick my leg out. I'm coming up and I said, okay, leg, you gotta stay out because what am I doing? I'm staying in, once I've established this position, I've established, I'm, I'm coming from this position, stable. Both step, stable, weight here, but I'm gonna to wanna to shift the weight to the back leg. But to do that, I'm on this leg, insubstantial moves, insubstantial, becomes substantial, and then I want to be able to bring this up, okay? But when you bring this up, if it helps if you bring your leg up. Here, half step. Yeah. Up, down. What happened here? Once I got this up, and I just come down, this and this come down again. Where did I go? I stayed right here. So think about what your hands and legs uh, are trying to hint which way you should be going and try to use them symmetrically to try to keep your balance as long as you can. And then when you do decide to move, they move fairly symmetrical. At least something is balancing the other guy off so we don't fall to one place or the other. Another thing is uh, uh, we talked about for exercise. And look to when you do pushing down, you're coming, you're using, you're not just doing one of these things with the hands. You, the hand doesn't move too much. Then the hand moves a little bit, sets the position, and then here, and then from here, this takes over. You, you're using this, and then you're also expending energy forward. So it's important that you, you use your shoulders. And I was gonna show, show you something else, but it slipped my mind as to what the examples, but the bottom line is, pay attention to your shoulders. That's the opportunity to use your core. Yes. Can you show us from here? Oh, okay, yeah, and, and that, that one also helps you, okay. From here, okay, um, let's see. Let me go through. 
here. In this case, what's happening is you're going to be stand, going this way. This, this hand is coming forward, but you see, leg comes forward, hand comes forward, leg comes forward. And then when hand comes back, you, you drop. And, and at the same token, this is out here. If you kept that out here, what would happen? You'd be all going this way. So you, here, step. This is the, the stable foot. Turn, rotation, and this hand came. And this hand is going to come down, and this hand is going to come forward. See, once I get onto this leg, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of playing a lot on this leg, but my arms and legs are trying to keep my balance, help me keep my stability, okay, yeah. Half step forward, follow it, eh? and this one, at the same time, this is coming back. And this is coming up, you sink, you sink down, okay. Again, let's just go ahead from here, okay. Half step, arm is coming forward, arm is coming back, sit down, And when you're coming up, it's not, it's, it's dropping, you're using this again. You use this and the hand comes. It's almost like you're gonna, you're gonna put pressure going, compressing the person this way. Of course, that's in your mind. So your, mod, your, body, your muscles move, but you're not going Okay, we're just, we're being nice and, and, and pleasant and very relaxed. But all the while you say, okay, uh, I've taken inventory that all of these in my mind, the muscles know that they're on notice that they're supposed to be moving. And that's just part of the Tai Chi exercise. So good, you're um, taking special note, you're observing, you're trying to teach your body kind of goofy things, but really things that in the end, you'll feel that they're very natural, okay? The best thing to do, the optimal position that you could be in. So the question that will lead us to refinement was just asked. So next week, we'll, we'll talk about how to refine our um, single whip and go into playing the lute. But good job, I want you to do again good homework go over the, the lesson, make sure you know how to pivot on the back, pivot on the front, swirl the front hand as you then weight yourself on the back, okay? Use those drills that we just worked through. We have some time, let's do the 10 two times, okay? Good Tai Chi posture. Commencing form. Wild horse's mane. Kick 
好。Round two, last and final, commencing form. 